Hello and welcome to Wild Finds where I'm always on the hunt for media items. Right now I'm at this estate sale. Free, empty. Oh no. So that stinks. All these cases are empty, but they have good titles like Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Soundgarden, Ozzy. Even more, Nine Inch Nails, Vanilla Ice, everyone's favorite. They also got Disney VHS, some actual CDs here. DVDs for $2 more. Nothing I really need though. So I got two boxes of empty CD cases for a grand total of $0. Oh, and you might have noticed that my hair is shorter than usual, and you're thinking, how the heck did that happen? Make sure to watch until the end, I give away the secret. Hey, let's see what we can find here today. Ooh, I'm not in the market for lamps, paintings, or pants, but everything else is 50% off. Ooh, very happy to find this right here, Dead Heat. I've seen this before, but glad to own it. Treat Williams, Joe Piscopo. I like this a lot. It's on Tubi if you want to watch it. I highly recommend it. They also have this Gorgo VHS and a Dolly Parton DVD, which seems to have a bit of value. Ooh, they have a double feature, The Fly, Return of the Fly, and they also have a Rift Track, Night of the Living Dead. They also have Audition, but no disc. Oh no. I do want to rewatch this movie. I was a little bit disappointed when I first saw it. I think because it was just a little bit too overhyped. But if I'm wrong, and Audition is the masterpiece that everyone says it is, please let me know. Some records over here, a salt and pepper single. Now singles sometimes trick me. These really don't have much value. Uh, but you know, you think, oh, salt and pepper, that might be something. But not really. But I will grab this early James Brown one right here. I find Disney hats quite often. I think I'll buy this Haunted Mansion one. Right here, we got a 2020 sucks t-shirt. And, first time finding one of these, a sequel to a t-shirt, 2021 also sucks. So I've been getting pretty lucky finding band t-shirts at this spot right here. Uh, here's a Scorpions one, and it looks pretty old. I don't know much about it, but yeah, there it is. And these are 50 cents, so good deal there. Uh, a Blues Festival one, Calgary, and you got B.B. King. There's a bunch of words here on the back that you can read if you feel like it. There you go. Got this one for a tour called the Bamboozle Roadshow 2010. Some groups I've heard of, some I haven't. There's a Dazed and Confused licensed shirt right there. Great movie. Integrity, you know, the hardcore band. Just kidding, it's an AT&T t-shirt. Ooh, nice score here. Nike Air Maxes. In pretty good shape. Oh yeah. And yes, people do buy used sneakers online. Should I pick up this Halo 2 strategy guide? Sure, why not? Now here at the thrift store, that gives out stuff for free out front. Someone dropped off a Stephen King collection. Sweet, Pet Cemetery, Cujo, Tommy Knockers, Needful Things, The Talisman, Eyes of the Dragon. Then some other ones like Sleepy Hollow, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Awesome, I'm definitely taking some of these. Now here at the Blue Skies Thrift Store. Hi, who are you? Oh sweet, so everything's half off, so the $1 DVDs of course are 50 cents, and they have Maniac, the remake. I've been looking for this. Fantastic. There's some pretty good VHS too, from Star Wars to Jedi making of. The best Chuck Norris movie right here, Invasion USA, I already own this one. They have other ones here. Now these old movies, the titles always get my hopes up. Wake of the Red Witch, and then, oh, it's just a John Wayne film. Terror by Night. Oh wait, it's just a Sherlock Holmes movie. So as you know, I'm always out searching for bargains, and check this out, $7 haircuts. And boy, do I need one. And I do like oddly shaped buildings. Okay, so it was actually $10 for the haircut. I didn't notice it said $7 for seniors. Still a good deal. The last place I went, they wanted $18 for a haircut. That's too much. If you have to touch someone's head, I think you do deserve a tip. I gave the guy five bucks. Let me know in the comments how much you tip on haircuts. So back here once again to find some free stuff. They got some CDs, wow. Now that's what I call Christian music. Looks like these are mostly Christian. Petra, I think I've heard of them. 
Ooh, autographs, nice. That one's autographed too, sweet. We have two of the same ones here. Oh, and another autograph, nice. Will this one also be autographed? It is, strange. Did someone pass off two copies to the band, but not everyone wanted to sign both copies? We got another one, Alan Lorton. Never heard of that fella, but another autograph. So strange how all of these are autographed. Jars of clay. Now I have heard of them and yep, autographed, nice. So I know this is a Christian group. I'm not sure if the other ones are. Oh, no. Oh yeah, it is autographed. This one too. We got a textbook here. Ooh, DS game, Brain Age 2. Not very exciting. This is like a $1 game right there. Postcards, nice. Oh, Universal Studios postcards. Bates Motel. Terminator 2. E.T. Oh, now that is cool right there. Snow White Pogs, nice. Kmart exclusive. I guess it came with the, you know, the VHS in the 90s. Nice. We got like a reel-to-reel -reel tape deck instruction manual. Another CD. This one's brand new. No idea who that is. The Dark Knight sneak peek. A DVD. I guess it's a preview of The Dark Knight, like a trailer. It says it's only two minutes long. Interesting. Ooh, so lots of good free stuff today. Also have this stuff over here, like kids toys. I don't need those. A plaque made out to Louise Ortiz. I'm not Louise Ortiz, so I don't need that. I did look up this book right here. It sells for about $15, so I'll definitely grab that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you remember earlier in the video, I got the empty CD cases. You might have been thinking, what use are empty cases. Well, I actually do have some of these listed online. For instance, like this is a group of Guns N' Roses ones. And if someone collects the cases or needs replacements, uh, these will sell. I won't get a lot, but they were free. And I'll make, you know, eight, nine dollars uh, off this lot right here. This right here is 15 uh, cases for Nine Inch Nails uh, CDs. It's uh, kind of cool right there. I really wish the CDs were in here. That would be awesome. There's like, you know, like bootleg ones and stuff. Uh, really cool. But yeah, I'll make a little bit off this. I kept some of the blank cases for myself. And what I did is I took out the booklets and inserts. And I have this lot of 100 booklets and inserts listed for I think about $30 or so. It has watchers. It will sell. And what's interesting is I can get just as much, if not more, for the booklets and inserts than if they had the cases because the cases adds a lot more to the shipping cost. And yeah, people will buy these. And I just wanted to point that out. There's things you can sell online that you might not have realized have value, like empty CD cases of all things. Uh, not a ton of value, but you know, I'll make over $50 and they were free, so sweet. Before I get out of here though, I was curious how everyone is doing as far as finding things in the wild. Here in Florida, this summer season just started, and that's actually the off season. For instance, today I went to the flea market. It's not close, it's 45 minutes away, and I drive there, and they were just closed. Huge bummer. Thrift stores haven't been quite as good as they sometimes are. But thrift stores in general for me aren't great. I know you see these videos and you're like, oh my god, you find such great stuff. But I don't show all the times I go and they just have nothing. So yeah, uh, thrift stores are always hit and miss. And flea market hasn't been quite as good as it usually is. Uh, but if it's been good for you, please let me know. And that's going to do it for this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you around.